This was my father's guitar. My great-grandmother purchased this item for him when he was in high school. He was a guitar player, and uh, it's been the family ever since. I used to play it when I was a child, and mm -hmm. uh, I lost interest in the guitar, but we've just kept it. It's been in the closet. My great-grandmother purchased this sometime around 1930 to 31, somewhere around in there. Well, the serial number tells us that she, she bought it new, and evidently it was new when she got it. Yes. And uh, especially for that period of time, it was, it was not an inexpensive instrument. It's a brass body that's nickel-plated, and it's a South American mahogany neck and an ebony fingerboard. These guitars with internal resonators were an attempt to make the guitar louder. And this is one of the first ones that they, that they did, and it has three resonator cones inside, so it's commonly called Correct. a tricone. The internal cones are, are uh, stamped aluminum. All right. And actually, these ones with three resonator cones predate the later ones that have only a single cone. Really? And most of them were intended for Hawaiian playing with a, with a steel bar. In fact, because so many of these guitars were played that way, people often think that Hawaiian steel refers to the fact that the guitar is made of metal, when in fact Hawaiian steel refers to the steel bar that you use to play it. Really? And the, and the resonating cones, which work kind of like the, um, the head on a Victrola, where you're mm -hmm. taking the signal and it's driving a really thin aluminum cone and then the body amplifies that sound. And so as a result, you know, you've got... Uh, you know, it's a, it's a very loud that projects well. I mean, right. when you're playing it, it doesn't seem that loud. But when you're on the other side of a, of a dance hall, you hear it much more really? than you would a conventional wood body guitar. Wow. A guitar like this has a fair amount of w what we call honest wear, but none of the edges have been, have been dented or the seams are loose or anything like right. that. So the retail value in a specialty guitar shop would probably be $5,500. Right. Interesting. Well, we're not going to sell it. Well, I, I wouldn't if it was <laughs> if it had that kind of history, so, and for good reason. It's so. been in the family, and that's where it's going to stay. So. Sure. The Roadshow Blues. I'll be the audience. Doesn't it sound great? It would sound better if somebody knew how to play. <laughs> this is out of tune, this part. And then we go for the big finish, ready? Awesome. Thank you, good night. Corpus Christi, we're out. <laughs> there awesome. you go.